Hey guys, it's about uh, 3 in the afternoon here on a Monday and um, well first of all I just wanted to say thank you for your understanding and patience you know last week I was supposed to film a morning chat and I didn't because our stuff from Korea finally arrived and that was that was a whole thing on its own and I'm gonna tell you guys all about that but the other thing that I wanted to share with you today is kind of um, like a follow-up to I posted a video before uh, we started traveling like right before we left Korea and it was the um, makeup unpacking or makeup I'm gonna be traveling with for five months or something like that and you know since leaving Korea I really have cut back on so many of my products both skincare and makeup and I have gotten questions uh, from people asking me to do like an update in terms of like what I ended up using or you know what I actually found useful and what I did with the rest of my stuff so I'm happy to report that all all of my makeup minus like maybe four or five things um, that's in the medicine cabinet everything fits in here and this is basically my entire makeup collection which is very exciting for me to share with you so I'm gonna kind of catch you guys up on what's been going on with us over here um, since I didn't get to talk to you last week I'm gonna start with my base I'm using Glossier's Perfecting Skin Tint. I'm almost done with this. So I have one backup of this. I have one backup and what I usually do is when I run out of a bottle and I break into my backup, I go ahead and order a backup for that. So I just like to always have one in my collection. So last Monday, our stuff finally arrived. These were our, you know, the large majority of the stuff that we weren't traveling with. And it took, yeah, it took a, <laughs> some time to get here. So the guys that delivered it to us here, they're not from the same company as our Korean moving company. So what they did was they shipped our stuff to a port in California in Long Beach and then from there they shipped it over to Maui and then it got to us. So um, yeah, it was a move-in company based out of Hawaii. I don't know what they're called, I forget. But they... Um, <laughs> they were supposed to call us and they didn't so they just kind of showed up with the huge truck and you know they started unloading all the stuff and I've been mentally preparing myself for it because you know as much as we were trying our best to get into a routine and settled um, right away that was a huge part of the missing puzzle you know for the rest of our stuff to arrive so that we can sort through and figure out what what needs to go and you know what we're gonna make room for here oh man yeah monday everything everything got here and what's funny is i'm so impressed by the the korean moving company that packed up all our stuff even the mo movers here on maui as they were you know unloading everything and unboxing everything they were really impressed with you know the quality of the packing job and nothing was broken nothing was moldy i mean granted i washed everything like meaning clothes dishes cups um, i fully cleaned out our nespresso machine there was a lot of prep work before you know things got packed and i think that also helped a lot because none of our stuff was gross or moldy it almost felt like i wasn't apart from it for you know the five months so it was really nice to have everything, um, you know, arrive in great condition. And then now I'm going to show you what our place looked like last week when everything was unboxed. And you guys, like I had to just take a minute and come into our bedroom and just sit on the floor because I couldn't look at it. Like I really felt like I couldn't breathe. It was just man but anyway like we had a goal of trying to get everything sorted in three days and thankfully yeah i think by wednesday we were pretty good now luckily we only shipped over two big pieces of furniture one being our coffee table like the coffee table we love that's the lift top where we can like sit and use as like a tv tray if you will so we can have you know meals while watching tv 
So unfortunately, we have to sell that because um, our place already comes furnished with a coffee table and I'm not trying to pay for storage to have that stored for, you know, God knows how long. So I am um, trying to sell it right now on Facebook and then what else? Oh, we brought our bed frame over, just the bed frame, not the mattress. And, you know, we already have a bed here like that. This place was furnished with a bed, so we have to sell that. Currently, the bed frame is unassembled and it's sitting in the garage right now. So that's something that we have to put together, take pictures of, and then post it online. So apart from that, all the other little things, um, I actually dropped off at a consignment store. So I'm crossing my fingers waiting for things to get sold. I actually have to stop by the store to kind of check on my account. They don't really keep in touch with you or anything. You're solely responsible for stopping by and seeing what stuff of yours gets sold. We're definitely feeling a bit more settled and it's fantastic. The other thing Brandon and I are doing right now, it's been two weeks now, but ever since we got here, I think it's one of the first things that we started to do once we um, moved into our places. We signed up for a CrossFit gym and we've been going like for me at least three to four times a week and Brandon's been like four to five times a week. And once our stuff came from Korea, we are now way more um, strict or not strict. We're way more intentional about what we're eating. So currently um, we're using my fitness pal to kind of plan our meals and like our caloric intake and you know how much protein I should be eating. Yeah, Brandon's been you know weighing our food and food prepping and doing all this stuff. So that's another part of our daily routine. I feel like there are a few you know different changes we're trying to incorporate into our lives right now. But also, it's, it's like, it's the struggle with, you know, just trying to get started so we can build momentum. And also finding a balance of not doing too much at once, you know, just so that we ease into it and we figure out what works and just kind of adjust it, you know, as we go. So a perfect example of that is even though we were weighing our food and, um, really trying to like we stopped buying junk food for the home you know ever since we got here and we have made a much more conscious decision about what we cook for dinner and stuff but even with that when we put input our food into my fitness pal it was like we just kept going over um our daily goals for you know the amount of fat we want to eat or the carbs and and yeah, I think those two are it. For me, I'm having a really hard time eating the amount of protein that I need for my body. I haven't been hungry in <laughs> in a week now, I think, because I think I ate so much. But when I look, it's like, okay, I still have, you know, 50 more grams to go. And it's like, oh my gosh. So last week has been experimental with that. And this week is us trying to like fine tune it a bit more and to really um, fall within our guidelines. I've been eating a lot of Greek yogurt and ground turkey, um, chicken, a lot of chicken, and just vegetables. But what's really nice is, you know, because Brandon's home now and he's not, you know, going to his nine to five job like he was in Korea, like we're sharing the house workload. And so we're cooking, not together, but like most meals he'll cook, or like we split the meals and then we take turns cleaning up and that's been really nice. I guess the reason why I wanted to kind of share or do a follow up of, you know, my makeup is... I feel like I have this love-hate relationship with stuff. You really feel the weight of how much you need or love something when you have carried it with you like in a suitcase or on your back for months and then you really <laughs> it helps you think about what you actually need versus you know just things that are nice to have but not necessities and so it's so funny when i look back on my skincare video and my makeup video before i started traveling it's like i can't believe i thought i would get through all that stuff like all that skincare 
and truth be told I ended up giving away a lot of my makeup and skincare mostly to my mom um, just because I like to introduce her to products that I like that but she might not necessarily come across on her own so yeah like most of my skincare and my makeup I gave to my mom and she happily accepted it and this is all I've been left with in terms of um, what I've been loyal to and you know again it's just like a reminder of we really don't need as much as we think we do right or as much as we want because i know for me it's like that's always the struggle it's i love beauty products and skincare but at the same time i also really love living simply and not you know being bogged down and the good thing about the space that we're living in now is because our storage space is limited and because we don't have too much space, I really, really have to pare down what I want to keep in my life. And, you know, this might be silly, but each time I open up this makeup bag and I use exactly what I need, I'm always reminded that less is so much more for me. In every place I've lived, I've always set up some sort of a vanity and, you know, I would sit down and put on my makeup in the same spot, but for whatever reason, um, I really liked being able to just open my drawer, grab this bag, and once it's shut, it's like really thin too, relatively. Like I can just grab this and then just go put on my makeup on the couch if I want, like while I watch TV or, you know, take it over to the dining table and put on makeup while I like look out the window. And just being very mobile <laughs> with my makeup collection, um, it's been really fun and freeing like this really might sound funny and silly, but I Thought it was worth talking about and I do have a few things that I still keep in stock So for example, I always have a backup beauty blender, you know, just in case um, This gets really nasty or it rips like I don't want to have to wait for a second one or you know I always keep a backup skin tint but minus like those basic essentials like I really i'm not very interested in going out and buying too much stuff anymore so the other thing that i've been so happy about being a city girl my whole life um you know this is the first time where i don't feel the need to wear makeup every day and it's such a freeing feeling i mean not that i felt like i had to wear it in the city but that was that was my normal you know like it i always felt um I didn't totally feel like myself unless I was put together, but being here, I mean, first of all, like there's something about being on Maui, even when I was here a few years ago, where my skin just cleared up and my skin has been the best it's ever been in a long time. It could be some of the sunshine, the air here, the water, I don't know, different factors, but I feel less of a need to want to cover up my skin. You know, it's not like the city where I feel like everyone is like so put together all the time, if you know what I mean. And I, and I think it's, you know, that, that island life where everything's just so much more chill. And I've been really appreciating it, appreciating it. It's weird because on the days where I would go makeup free living in the city, I would always break out. So I know some people say that, you know, you take breaks from makeup and your skin clears up. Like that wasn't the case for me in the city. In fact, I feel like my skin did better when I did wear makeup. Like it acted like an extra layer of protection or something. I'm really enjoying this being my new normal so that, you know, in the future when we do visit, you know, New York or Korea or SF or wherever it is, um, I want to be comfortable with wearing less makeup and getting used to not putting on um, as much as I did. I finally got a new um, Surat eyelash curler. It's been on my wish list for a really long time because my other one needed replacing. I've had the other one for I think close to four years and every time I would try to go and buy this it would be out of stock and I'd always try to get it during the VIB sales but that's like the hardest time I think to get it. I'm really sorry if there are sweat spots in my armpits. It's really warm in this room. So what I'm doing right now, this is basically my everyday makeup when I wear makeup. Yeah, so literally the same color, same product on my lids, cheeks, and my lips. So, yeah.
and then just curl my lashes and then highlight that's pretty much it in terms of my everyday makeup so let me show you what I have here in my makeup collection okay so this bag same bag that I've had um, since since a long time ago. I've had this for probably three to four years now. Got one brush here. This is the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80. This is not new. I've had this for a while as well. And you know, these days I've been kind of forgetting to set my face, but if I was going out or I think if I was taking photos, I would um, powder my T-zone with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This stays in my drawer because it's really bulky, but that's what I use this for. And then I have my tweezers right here, and it's just uh, one I bought in Korea. I've had that one for a while too. So what I used on my face today, starting with this, this is the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. <laughs> I should really keep track of how many um, tubes of this I've gone through, just from my personal curiosity. <laughs> And then after that, this is a product I've had in my suitcase for months, but I only recently opened up um, at the beginning of this month. And this is the uh, Glossier Stretch Concealer. This is my second jar and I have it in the shade medium and I like to use it under my eyes, but not so much on um, hyperpigmentation or blemishes. So this is just for under my eyes. And then for um, some of the places on my face that needed a little bit of extra coverage. I used um, RMS Uncover Up in number 33. I really love this product. I think I've told you guys before, but I've tried this years ago and I it just didn't work for me. But for whatever reason, um, I bought this in Sydney in September. And since then, I've been using it very regularly and it's great. I think it gives me the amount of coverage that I'm really happy with. And then I highlighted with, oof, this is a Living Luminizer, also by RMS Beauty. I also bought this in Sydney. I bought these two together, I think. Did I buy these two together? I, this one's fairly new. Oh, you know what? No, I bought this after. I didn't buy this in Sydney. But yeah, those four. And then my cheek lids and lip product is Bite Beauty's Brioche. This is the multi-stick. I love this color. I know I've talked about it so many times. It's nothing new, but oh, what a great product. And I didn't used to use this on my eyelids, but I love it now. It's so easy to wear every day. And um, yeah, I've been really loyal to this product for for however long I've had it, I would definitely repurchase this. And then I've got my Cary Gran Lip Whip in Genie. This is one of my favorite products. It looks really dark in here, but it's pretty sheer once it's blended out. And it smells like peppermint and it's really moisturizing for my lips and I love it. it just gives like a nice little tint, you know, without full color. And then I've got my eyelash curler and my Laguna bronzer given to me by my cousin. I was using Laguna a bit more when I felt like I was breaking out because I just kind of wanted to give myself more of that tan look and I didn't want to use blush because I didn't want to accentuate redness on my cheeks. But everything I just showed you right now, it all fits so nicely in here with room to spare. And then it just goes right into my makeup bag, little buttons. And then on the other side here, you know, I, I have things in here that I feel like I could take out and even put it away. Cause they're not getting too much use these days. Um, okay, so I've got three eye brushes, nothing new. Um, this is from Sephora, Sigma, and I think this is Vanity Planet. They sent this to me a while ago, but 
yeah i mean when i use my bite beauty multi-stick i just use my finger so i really don't have a huge need for this um one other product that doesn't fit in my makeup bag because i guess i don't really use this um palette too regularly now i have the anastasia uh, modern renaissance this was recommended to me um, by my friend stephanie in taiwan because she had this on her eyes and it looked so good on her and she was talking to me about how the pigmentation on this is amazing and i thought like a lot of the colors would be pretty wearable for me i do like this palette and i feel like honestly if i wasn't living in hawaii i'd probably um, get much more use out of it because i did use it way more leading up to arriving here and then i've got my go-to eyebrow product this is shiomara's hard formula in stone gray this is the last one that i have i had a brand new one and i gave it away to my mom because this is gonna still last me forever and i finally um it's it's not pretty but i'm dealing with it and sharpening it myself because i can't go to you know a counter anymore and then i just have a spoolie that i use to brush my brows out i don't know where this is from there's no name on it this is from stila this is the stay all day waterproof liquid liner my friend vicky introduced this to me years ago and i bought this when i was in washington um yeah i don't really wear liquid eyeliner you know regularly anymore but if i wanted to i have the option of doing that and then i have a eye pencil here from Ann Other Stories. I got this when Ann Other Stories first opened up in Korea, but it kind of looks gold-ish. It's like a goldish, I don't know, tan maybe? It's really nice for, um, I like to wear it right here, like in my, not in my waterline, but like right under my lower lash line. Glossier Boy Brow. I've gone through many of these. And I have a Kiss Me Heroin Make Mascara. This, uh, the other one in the pink tube, that was my go-to. And I do have one in my backup stash, but I wanted to try this one. This one is a super waterproof, long and curl mascara. And it's not bad, but I just, yeah, I don't wear mascara every day here. And last but not least, I have one red lip. And this is uh, Sephora's cream lip stain in 01 and i really do like this i feel like it's a really nice true stain um, it is pretty long lasting it doesn't mean that it won't transfer completely it still does a little bit but i remember i wore this yesterday and i forgot because after dinner i rubbed my lips and it just most of it came off on the napkin and for me it was like oh my gosh i forgot that i was wearing it and i applied this in the morning so it really really stayed on so yeah i mean i love how light this is and how easy it is to transport and i love that you know if we were gonna do a weekend trip somewhere or we have an upcoming trip i can just grab this and i know that everything that i need everything i need and use is just in this one bag the only thing that i would have to fit later on is a beauty blender you know but obviously i use it and it's wet so i like to keep it drying in this little shot glass here on my desk and you know last but not least but i have my folding mirror this is from muji i hope that was helpful for you um in a few weeks i know um riddle oil is coming out with a new scent and i'm gonna be talking about that at some point um moon one of my favorite um, cleansers is from the brand moon they recently sent me a package with their entire line so i have to get started on testing out all those products there and sharing that with you in a video i might even do a skincare collection video soon so yeah let me know if any of those three video ideas are interesting to you and i'll talk to you soon thank you so much for watching bye